look at the forecast. Let's bring in weather specialist Nora Fett. Hey, thanks very much, Jaden. Well, it seems eastern Ontario was the place to be today. That's where we saw really the best temperatures across the board. Kingston specifically, right now 11 degrees in that community. Earlier today, a high of 14. And it wasn't just the double, te double digits that were great, but really uh, the precipitation or lack thereof and also the lack of cloud cover. Beautiful sunshine across much of eastern Ontario, parts of cottage country getting that. In the GTHA, a lot more breakups in those clouds as the afternoon progressed and mostly cloud cover as you head towards southwestern Ontario. And by the way, those clouds Clouds are not uh, dissipating. It's the sun that's setting, and with it, the visibility on the visible satellite. Any precipitation is well to the east into Quebec. We're not looking at anything across the map here, and that will remain the case as we head into the evening and into tomorrow. What we're seeing is increasing cloud cover, though. So while we'll get a cloudy start to your Sunday for much of the GTA, pushing into southwestern Ontario and up to the north, it's going to be mostly on the sunny side in the east for the early morning so if you sleep in you're gonna miss it the rain rolls in later on in the evening the waterloo region at 9 to 10 p.m or 9 to 8 p.m rather and then tracking south as we head into oh, 11 p.m and past midnight the good news is after the system rolls out there will be some clearings in those clouds for a gorgeous start to your work week and some sunshine uh, during your Monday. Three degrees for your overnight in Toronto. We should be at around one, so we'll take it. Come tomorrow, your high 10 degrees, a lot of cloud cover, but we've got some winds from a friendly direction, the south at times, the south-southwest. Jaden? All right, thanks, Nor. Rosedale businesses. We're still going to stick with the mild temperatures in Toronto to come tomorrow. Double digits for your high, 10 degrees, a lot of cloud cover, but we're going to see some winds from a friendly direction. The south at times, the south southeast, especially as we head into the evening, a lot of cloud cover, as I mentioned, not a whole lot of sunshine. You can see very clearly where the ridge is situated around the Great Lakes, into the Midwest, into parts of southeastern Manitoba. That's where the warm air is. The cold air in blue. Right around here, especially into the prairies and pushing into the eastern prairies. That's where we're finding the significant snow tonight and the snowfall warnings. Western Manitoba, 10 to 15 centimeters of snow potentially as they head into Sunday morning. And I know that sounds terrifying, but it is November and snow in November is normal. We're not going to see it really uh, unfold in this side of the country over the next seven days. But we could see some flurry activity moving in later on next weekend for potentially southern Bruce County into uh, areas like Apsley and Bancroft. Still, potentially. Uh, still too early to tell. For now, it's going to be a dry overnight and clear morning, especially as we head into eastern sections of Ontario. Kingston and Tweed, Bancroft waking up with some sunshine. The cloud cover continues, and we're going to see that rain roll in around the Waterloo region, Muskoka, 9, 8 p.m., and then it's tracking south uh, through southern Ontario and the east. That'll happen into your overnight. So you'll wake up Monday morning with a lot of sunshine. For most, you won't even know what happened, and that can continues for much of the afternoon into southern and southwestern Ontario. Rain moving in for your Tuesday and continues to track east uh, for the rest of the province to see. Some of that wet weather is going to linger for a number of days. We're seeing temperatures dip below the freezing mark, but back to double digits tomorrow. Windsor 11 degrees, Stratford as well, Guelph at 10, 9 in Belleville, 8, Coburg, Peterborough, and 12 in Niagara Falls. Looks like Monday is a sweet spot in Toronto, 13 degrees with those partly cloudy skies and partly sunny skies. Uh, glass half full, guys, <laughs> because the rain is going to roll in by the middle of the week. Pushing Thursday, Friday into Saturday, still seeing that wet weather and temperatures dipping slightly as we head into the latter half of the week. Below seasonal for a high of 6 degrees. For our first look at the forecast, let's bring in weather specialist Nora Fett. Well, those CN Tower colors bringing a bit of a pop to the Toronto skyline. Still gorgeous as ever, though. You know what else is spectacular? 
Six degrees during this time of night. Not too bad considering where we're at in November. Really, the place to be today, though, it seems, was eastern Ontario, Kingston, Ottawa, high of 14 degrees. Quite incredible. And uh, some of us uh, well above average still, but into the single digits. Tobermory, Toronto, Perry Sound, London, Ontario at nine degrees. It was gorgeous, though, in the east, not just because of those temperatures, but because of the sunshine. Through much of the day, really seeing those clear skies, we've been seeing the cloud cover roll in further and further east as we headed through the evening hours. Now, the only precipitation that we're picking up, really a drizzle activity around Toronto, but much of it is out east into Quebec, and that's going to remain the case as we head through the overnight and into tomorrow. Still dry conditions, not looking at precipitation, just cloud cover increasing as we head into the morning hours, so starting off the day mostly cloudy, and that's how it's going to remain through much of the day. The first rainfall that we're going to see around Waterloo, the Peterborough region, 9 to 10 p.m., and then as we head through the overnight, that's when we're going to see that uh, drop south or track south towards the GTHA, towards other communities around Lake Ontario. So still dry overnight tonight, 3 degrees uh, for that overnight low in Toronto. You're high tomorrow at 10 degrees, cloudy but dry through much of the day, and then those showers start to roll in at uh, 11 p.m. or just after that time. We do have some winds from a friendly direction to keep us on the mild side of things. Jaden? All right, thanks, Nora. All right, let's check on our full weather forecast. Nor we are on the second half of November now. I think a lot of people are wondering about snow at this point. Yeah, and that's a very good thing to wonder uh, about, Jaden, because snow is normal in November. I know for many parts of the country, they've been pushing back the deadline, it seems, on when to see their first snow. That's true. Others already seeing it. Let's see what's in store for us come tomorrow. Your high for tomorrow in Toronto, 10 degrees, when we should be at around 7. Not bad, but it would have been nicer if we saw some more sunshine. We won't get that, unfortunately, tomorrow. It does seem like it will be mainly cloudy. Uh, we do have some rain on the way. The slightest shower activity, really, a little bit past 11 o'clock. But there is some sunshine in the near future, and I'll show you in just a moment. Today, we saw very clearly where a ridge has been building around parts of the Great Lakes into southeastern Manitoba. Some milder air also extending through parts of Atlantic Canada, but cold in the prairies. And tomorrow, we're going to see changes in that uh, department. A lot more warmer conditions now, uh, thanks to some winds from the south. Temperatures into the single digits still, but well above average, and that'll help quite a bit after that snow that they saw uh, rolling in today in Saskatchewan and in Manitoba. Still seeing those snowfall warnings in place 15 centimeters or so of snow. Why am I telling you this? Well, because eventually that system is going to continue to track east, moving into northwestern Ontario, but it won't pose a risk down here um, anytime soon. And in fact, the some of the uh, earliest signs of snow that we could be seeing this week, potentially at the end of the weekend, some flurry activity around uh, Bancroft, Huntsville, potentially into uh, southern Bruce County as well, and that's just a potential. So we're not worried about snow anytime soon, at least not in the next seven days. Sunday, as I mentioned, mostly cloudy, dry up until the late evening. We're going to see that rain roll in through the overnight. Niagara Falls, GTHA, Kingston area. The good news is, is that it leaves a lot of sunshine after it rolls in Monday morning for southern Ontario and southwestern Ontario. Uh, but then by Tuesday, that cloud cover rolls in and we see some rain pushing from the southwest into the east and that's where we see uh, some of that uh, shower activity roll into Toronto. Unfortunately, that rain will linger for quite a few days, especially around southwestern Ontario and around the GTHA as well. So Tuesday will be the start of that rain, but we could see it extend into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday in Toronto. Just by glancing at the map, I think you can tell Monday is your sweet spot, 13 degrees for back to work, back to